Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Guys, today I'm going to be doing a spotlight, okay? This is a fragrance that just took over my entire life. And I am so obsessed with it that I want to do a dedicated video. And I did post a picture on Instagram of the fragrance, which is obviously you see in the title, a Creed Aventus for her. And so many of you guys said wanted to see a video or some more details on this fragrance. So here we are. We're going to chat about Creed Aventus for her. And I'm going to tell you why why you need this in your life okay if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already hit the subscribe button become a part of our family and don't forget to leave a comment down below so i can welcome you we can all welcome you into the family thank you so much for watching to those of you who continuously return we're so close to 50k okay so so close and i'm so excited and let's go ahead and jump into this video so here is creed aventus for her that i finally added to my class probably about three weeks ago this is a 2016 creation so it's been around for a little while and I got this completely blind okay completely completely blind I looked up the notes I saw some reviews and some of my girls on YouTube that I like to watch did say they like this one so I was like okay let me give it a shot now I will say with Creed it is a bit of a hit and miss for me there are some scents that I really enjoy and then ones that I think are just not worth the price point Creed is a highly prestige prestige brand that's been around for a long time they have a huge legacy okay and so sometimes you are paying for the name of the company and um so i tend to kind of like be careful when it comes to creed but when i first got aventus for her honey i opened the bottle i sprayed it and i fell in love oh i fell in love it is such a gorgeous scent i will tell you guys that off of the bat here is that bottle of aventus for her and i actually really really like it definitely gives you a little bit of a classier you know kind of luxe vibe i like everything about it um the shape and the way that they have this labeling over here i really do enjoy the bottle on aventus for her now i have smelt Aventus, the original one for the men. And I think that it's a nice scent, but I don't really understand the hype behind that one. It's just like an, to me, it's more like an everyday, fresh, clean cut scent. But when it comes to Aventus for her, the mixture of those beautiful fruity notes really just took this one to a whole other level and it's a fresh fragrance that to me is elegant it's luxurious it gives me high classy vibes very well put together confident it is stunningness in a bottle oh i am on fragrantica and in the top notes we have green apple bergamot patchouli lemon pink pepper and violet and when you do spray this scent the opening is definitely very fresh bright really like mood uplifting with a kick of spice in there that green apple in the scent is like gorgeous I love that they added that in there because it definitely is like a very bright opening in the middle notes we have musk rose sandalwood and see I don't know what that note is but I will leave it up on the screen for you guys and I really like the rose in this fragrance it's not heavy it's not obnoxious it's not too vintage it's really well balanced off with the fruity notes in here and that is all in the base we have some black currant we have peach amber lilac and ylang ylang the peachy note in there is gorgeous so to me again when i spray this one i'm actually let me spray that on the skin oh it's so good let me spray that on my skin um the atomizer i'll be completely honest it's not my favorite i do find it a little bit abrasive so I tend to spray it a little further out from the skin. Um, it's not the best like soft continuous mist that I love. So keep that one in mind. But mm, the opening, okay, the opening is just fresh, fresh, brightness, happy vibes. 100%. You do get a kick of spice, like this very like almost peppery spice. 
but the green apple in here is definitely predominant that beautiful bergamot in here and you will get that patchouli note not a dirty patchouli but a definite green patchouli in here Oh, it smells so good. And the lemon in here, it's like zesty in the opening, bright and citrus and very mood uplifting, super refreshing to wear straight out the shower. You just got dressed and you put this on and it's like, oh, everything is put together. The dry down is really beautiful. Those citrusy tones um, really kind of subside, but they stay throughout the entire day, but they subside. They're not super aggressive as in the opening. And then you get more of a little bit of a woody note in there, very soft with that musk. It really balances it off. The peachy note is there also, that black currant note. So you get that beautiful kind of mix of fruits in there and then that rose and it's just like a really gorgeous wearable fragrance that says a lot more it's not just an average fresh scent to me when i smell this when i wear this i just feel super luxe i feel like i am super well put together i have it all down packed um when i'm wearing this i just want to be dressed nicely i can wear this and wear very casual clothing but i can also dress myself up with some heels maybe a suit and i still can pull this one off even jeans nice little booties with a nice blazer pull this one off it is just one of those any occasion type of sense you can casually wear this but you can really elevate it and wear it in a more elegant upscale way it is one of those scents that you don't have to think about when you wear this one it just goes with every setting you are in a meeting you are working in an office you want to create a really great first impression you're going for brunch you're going for dinner it is date night you can pull this one off. Now, I will say it is a freshie, so it's definitely more appropriate for me at least during the day, midday. For evening, I would probably layer it with a bit of a heavier scent because this is more of a fresher scent to me, but I still find that this is just a fragrance that you pick up and you wear and you are good to go. You're not gonna think about layering it with any other thing. You're not gonna think, oh, is this gonna be too much? It is definitely very, very appropriate approachable and it smells beautiful it really smells beautiful so i wore this to um i took a little mini vacay to ottawa <laughs> local vacay to ottawa and i was there for three days and i brought only this scent and when i tell you i got questions i got questions okay i was asked what i was wearing Oh, that smells so good. And it was just one of those scents that people really love to be around because it's just like pleasing. It is really, really pleasing. It's, it has all the elements that you need to not become too abrasive, too heavy, too obnoxious. It is a fresh scent that ticks off every single box. There's a little bit of spice in there. There's the citrus tones in there. There's a bit of woodiness in there. There's a slight floral note in there. And it is just gorgeous. It's elegant. It's elevated. It smells like a classy lady. It smells like a classy lady. In the dry down, the muskiness really pulls through, but it is so good. I can't do heavy, heavy musky scents. It comes off really like unpleasing to me. But with this one, it's just like, mm, it's fresh. It's like put together and it's clean. Like it really just smells like you got out of the shower and you are fresh, clean. Everything is done, okay? Everything is done. You are well-dressed. You are well-spoken. Just has a really elegant quality to her. So I'm really enjoying this scent. I'm really surprised by how much I love it because you guys know that I definitely love my very loud, heavy, woody, gourmand scents. But this one, there is just something very, very, very special about it. The balance of all of those notes, the, the, the way it was composed, really gives you a well-rounded, well-balanced fragrance that, that sits beautifully on the skin. Um, and I can't wait to wear it on hotter days. I have worn this during winter time and it works perfectly. So I want to see how it reacts when it's a little warmer outside. But I think it's going to do beautiful because it is one of those 
fresh scents. It is so good. Now, in terms of performance, on my clothing, it stays there all day long. All day long, okay? I don't need to overspray it on my clothing. On the skin, I do have fragrances that are longer lasting than this one. I'm not going to lie. But it is one that I love so much. I don't mind overspraying it. But because I spray this a lot on my clothing, I don't feel like I need to overspray on the skin. And that is what I am doing lately with a lot of my fragrances that don't perform as well as I want them to. I will do majority of the sprays on my clothing, shoulders, right up here at the front, at the back, you know, like on the knees. And then I will spray a little on the skin and maybe a little on my hair and I am good to go with the fragrances and that's what I do with this one and then it lasts me pretty much all day. It leaves a really nice trail. The first, I want to say one to two hours, you can definitely smell that when you're walking around and someone is walking around with you. So you will get questions on this fragrance and again, it's just elegant. It is just beautiful it's not too mature so it de I definitely feel like a ton of different age groups can wear this from like your late teens and up it's not too mature whatsoever and it's just a really beautiful bright happy like mood uplifting scent that is super super elegant very ladylike and I am just obsessed with this one like if you guys were contemplating getting this one if you love scents that I love. I'm talking um, Flora Botanica from Balenciaga, Angelique Noir, like those kind of like fresh scents that have a little bit more uniqueness, Chloe Nomad. I think you would absolutely adore this one. Again, you have to like your kind of bright fragrances. In the opening for sure, there's a lot of citrusy tones in there, kick of spice in there. But the dry down, you're going to get more of this like beautiful, musky, peachy, rosy scent that is just like, it's feminine. It's absolutely feminine. The brightness really subsides a little bit in the dry down, but I do love the dry down. It's just so wearable. It's so approachable. And I think any woman can pull this off and you will just feel absolutely incredible in this sense so that is pretty much my spiel on Aventus for her I think it's worth every single penny if you can get this at a discounted price then definitely do that but if I had to buy this at retail price I would because I really do love it so that is it guys that is my opinion on Aventus for her I'm absolutely obsessed with it I can't wait to wear it for the summertime and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave your comments down below letting me know if you have this beauty and what is your experience. I mean, fragrance is different on everyone. I always like to say that what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. But generally, if you have the same taste as me, you know, you'll get the vibe. So can you leave a comment down below? like this video also as it helps me reach other people thank you so much for watching and if you're new and you watch this video till the end what are you doing with your life subscribe okay hit the subscribe button and become a part of our family and i will see you all on the next video ciao